the back rooms. You've been here before. Enigmatic level, the heart of the universe. Description, the heart of the universe is a large anomalous structure at the coordinates 0, 0, 0, 456, 4, 9, 31, 33, 246, 68, 141 in the Ganunga Gap, or as it's colloquially referred to as the Blue Channel. Footnote. I understand that 11-dimensional space is hard to grasp for most people at first, so a basic diagram has been attached to help visualize its placement in all dimensions relative to each other. Don't worry too much about it, though. Where this device is located relative to the point that the cosmos began doesn't matter too much in the grand scheme of things. End footnote. Image caption. Coordinate visual aid. Speculation. Why is it there? Why the S-axis? Nothing's on the S-axis. There's nothing interesting about the S-axis in the slightest, except for this. It's at the origin of the P, Q, and R axes as well. Does that have any significance? It probably doesn't matter. The lobby, the most important entrance we know of, is at a completely random point around the V-axis. Numerology has never really meant much around these realms. Anatomy. Three groups possessing 11 bioluminescent pseudospheres each, orbiting a large, amorphous, crescent-shaped core of undulating copper, pulsing at just around 108 beats per minute. Did you know, according to modern estimates, that's roughly equivalent to how often a human dies? Once about every five-ninths of a second. Uncanny. The melody's almost familiar. Strangely upbeat, even. Perhaps we all hear the song of death about us each day without noticing it. We've grown so accustomed to the cursed heartbeat of this colossal apparatus that we can only hear it when it's right in front of us. But it's always been right in front of us. Once every five-ninths of a second, a person dies, and the universe keeps up its merry little jig without a care in the world for the suffering it puts us through. Does it have a purpose? Probably. This inscrutable blob is connected to time and space itself by the same threads of glass as the primal one. Note, see Object 59. Filaments forming something almost akin to a chain of cogs reaching out forever into the void, so it clearly has some function within the natural order of things. It might control gravity, magnetism, the expansion of the universe, or maybe the collapse of wave functions. It could be the reason for any number of arbitrary physical laws or processes. It could be what sets fundamental constants to such arbitrary numbers as 6.6743 times 10 to the power of negative 11 times m cubed times kg to the power of negative 1 times s to the power of negative 2. But at the end of the day, is there any constant important enough to justify its impact? Fate. Believe me, I've tried to destroy it, but this wretched contraption keeps on beating. Someday, I'll be one of those beats, and you will too. Is that comforting, perhaps? To know your finite life will eventually be repurposed, so some pendulum can swing once more. Does it bring you a sense of duty, perhaps? Pathetic. Have some self-respect. You are a human, a divine being blessed with a greater consciousness than any other creature around you. Hold on to that. Do not go gently into that good night. Death is a curse, and a curse can be broken. Now, are you with me or not? Signed, Auxiliary.